Hi everyone, welcome back. Something a little bit different here today. It's not beauty, it's not fashion, it's kind of general life kind of hack or like uh, cleaning up kind of hack tips. I guess you could say. Um, it's just kind of a quiet afternoon here at home for me. I was just doing some tidying up, getting everything back in its place, and I was about to zhuzh my couch a little bit, fluff her up, give her some more life. <laughs> She's looking a little bit sad in the last few days, and I just thought I would kind of share the few tips that I have on how to make your couch look five years younger. I do this kind of every few weeks, or if I'm gonna be doing photos in here, if we're gonna be having company over or something, then I kind of just re-fluff it. Otherwise, it does start to look a little bit like dumpy, <laughs> um, especially because it's a secondhand couch, so it does need a little more life in it. We could use a new couch, but um, we're not sure how much longer we're going to be in this apartment, and we might not be with this couch much longer, so there's no point in having it restuffed or buy a brand new couch if we're not exactly sure what we want or how long we'll have this one for. So I kind of make do with what we've got here, and I think it actually looks pretty good once you put all these tricks into play. It definitely makes it look like a whole new couch, brand new again. So I'm gonna back you up into the corner of our dining room here and I'll do kind of a walkthrough of exactly what I do. I hope it's helpful. <laughs> Okay, so here we are at the couch. I've pushed you back as far as you can go. I'm hoping you can still hear me. I've pushed my coffee table out of the way so you can get the full effect here. So this is the couch. This is our Ikea, I believe it's called a Kivik three-seater. We are here a lot. This is kind of like my second home right here where I do all my computer work. So it gets a lot of wear out of it. We love it very much, but obviously she looks quite sad at the moment. Um, lots of wrinkles and it just looks messy and disorganized. So to kind of make it picture ready or visitor ready, the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of all my accessory pillows and things on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've removed everything, all my accent pillows, the stuff I had gathered up on the corner here. I also removed our back pillows so we can get started with these big guys on the bottom here. So step number one is basically to flip your pillows. I think most people do that. Flip your mattress, you flip your pillows, kind of gives, gives it a new life on the other side of it. I'm actually not going to do that with these ones just because it's going to cause a problem with one of the other tips down the road in this video. I will do that with the back pillows for sure. So I take those off, I fluff them, flip them over, reverse sides sometimes. But specifically for these bottom guys, I like to actually flip them. Because there's two of us living in the house um, and not like a whole family full of people, we tend to gravitate towards the center of the couch, which means more wear and tear through the center here. So if I actually reverse them this way, it brings the outside of the cushions to the center and then we use the center of the pillow a little more, it gives them a little more even usage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, give them a flip. There's the vacuum under here. Didn't think about that before I started. And already I think that makes a huge difference. Everything just looks more voluminous and full and stretched out, less wrinkly, just feels better, makes, makes my brain feel better when I see them looking like this. So that was step number two. One was to just flip the cushions, two is to actually reverse them as well. So this third one I actually did right after we got the couch. It would have it had been used for a few years before we got it and then we just bought the um, changeable covers for the actual couch. It came to us in a dark gray, we wanted the light gray, so we just changed out the fabric, and that obviously made it look much newer. But the second thing we noticed was that the covers were actually a little bit loose on the pillows themselves because they had lost some of their volume in them. So what I did, you can actually open them up in the back here, and then I stuffed some towels on the inside of it. So if I open it up here, I just had some old towels that we never use, some like cleaning kind of towels, beach towels we never use. I even took some from my mom. <laughs> she donated them to me. Um, and then just to kind of fill out this cover a little bit more without having to actually pay to restuff the couch, which can be quite expensive, I just added some towels in here and it made a perfect kind of makeshift way of making our couch <laughs> look a little a little more alive. So because I've actually stuffed those towels on the bottom side of our cushions, it means I can't actually flip the pillow. So I, these bottom ones I only ever reverse, but the top ones I will reverse and flip. Just because it looks a little bit lumpy on this side, unless you can get some really flat towels in there that come around this edge here, our towels kind of sit like here. So it looked a little bit bumpy and I didn't like it. So 
I just leave them on this side only. Obviously if we ended up with stains or something on this side then I could just change the towel to the other side and then flip it but for the everyday kind of couch zhuzh um, I don't bother changing the towels I just change them their places. Okay, so step number four is to actually tuck the excess fabric down on the sides just to get it really nice and taut along the, along the top there. You try to kind of pull some of the wrinkles along the top here. Like this fabric, it actually does pretty well if you, if you pull it tight. I don't know what kind of fabric your couch is made of, but for this one it actually does work pretty well. So um, even though I have those towels stuffed in there, it's still got a little bit of give to it. So I just kind of go around the edge of the couch and tuck it all in. I'll tuck through the center here, pull it nice and taut, and then just with my hands I try to pull out some of the wrinkles a little bit. Now if you really wanted it to be super super perfect you could obviously go through and like wash and steam the fabric and everything. I'm not quite that anal, I think it looks good enough this way and I don't really want to steam my couch but you could definitely do that. So now that I've got my bottom pillows the way I want them, they're all tucked in nice and tight everywhere, I'm going to add my back cushions back to the couch. So for these ones, as I said, I do flip and reverse these ones. I just kind of give them a pat down, try to get some of the fluff evenly dispersed because like I said, we tend to sit towards the middle so it gets a lot deflated on either end. So I just flip it, puff fluff it, stick it back in its spot. Okay, so I think she's looking a lot more perky. We're doing pretty good here. Step number five is gonna be back to add your accent pillows. Accent pillows are huge for me. It just makes the couch look so much more inviting and cozy, my happy little place. But I am kind of anal about how they sit in the corner and fluffing them. So that's step number five is making sure your accent pillows are nicely fluffed. And they've got that perfect little divot in the center of them that all designers tend to do with their pillows. <laughs> So there are the accent pillows back in their little spot. That's the little um, divot in the pillow that I was talking about. Just makes it look a little less than perfect, a little more inviting that it's got some crease in it rather than it just sitting up totally perfect like that. I just do a quick karate chop in the center and that's the way I want it. So step number six, if all else fails and you've got stains and wear and tear you don't want anybody to see on your couch, you can use a throw blanket. I always have this on our couch because I'm always cold. I love to snuggle up with a blanket on the couch, especially now that it's getting colder out. Basically could stay here all day long. I'm such a homebody. We don't have any stains to cover up, but I'm just gonna, I like to just fold it up into a nice square like this. And then I just drape it across the back. A lot of people like that kind of draped um, accent blanket on their couch, just kind of haphazardly placed like that. For me, it just looks a little out of place. It looks kind of just like I've used it. I love the look of it in some houses, but for me, I think, I think the parallel lines and making everything symmetrical works better in our place. And there you go. The couch, I feel like, looks at least a good few years younger. I wish I could do this kind of zhuzhing to my face every day, but um, if we have people coming over or if I'm doing photos in here, this is for sure what I do. I don't do it every day, like I said. If, you're, if you have kids, you're probably thinking, yeah, right, that's not going to last more than about five minutes. But for us, it's just the two of us, so um, as long as Ken isn't around for the next few hours, it should look like this. <laughs> it makes my brain much happier to see it looking like this rather than all higgledy-piggledy. Um, so I hope something in here was helpful. I hope it wasn't too long for just a little couch tutorial. It might extend the life of your couch a little bit longer or you can just implement these really quick in two minutes right now and your living room will instantly look a lot tidier and nicer and it'll make you your heart very happy. I know this is kind of outside of what I normally do but I hope you enjoyed it anyways and I will see you in the next one. Bye!